breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Here is the truth. IPA speaks on replacing Unamde Kanu as leader. Here is the truth. IPOP speaks on replacing Unamde Kanu as the leader. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please do please stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP yesterday dismissed the alleged claim, making the rounds that it has removed Unamde Kano as its leader. IPOP described the alleged claim as useless and fabricated media propaganda and blackmail from some unscrupulous people being used by the Nigerian government and security agents to destabilize the pro-Biafra group. A statement, is a statement issued by Pops Media and Publicity Secretary in my powerful entitled We have not replaced Mazi Unnamde Kanu as our leader and I have no intention to do so. Regretted that some mischievous people decided to twist an unambiguous statement by Hypop where it said that now Mazi Unnamde Kanu is not around and that the head of Directorate of State, DOS Chikale Dozem, will be providing direction on the day to day activities of the group. It's noted that it never said that Ed Dozem has become the acting leader of IPOL. IPOL statement read. We, the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the command and leadership of Mazi Unamde Kanu, condemn the useless and fabricated media propaganda and blackmail from some media losses that IPOB has another law acting leader, replacing our indefatigable liberator and prophet of our time, Mazi Unamde Kanu. Those peddling this kind of lies are those criminals who politicians and the Nigerian government are using to confuse and deceive the weak-minded people. We want everybody to bear in mind that Mazi Chikale Dozem is the head of IPOP Directorate of State, DOS and not IP, acting leader. There was never a time that Ima Powerful, the publicity secretary of IPOB, issued any statement for quoting that our leader Mazi Unamde Kanu has been replaced by Mazi Chikale Dozem as IPOB acting leader. They said, statement was the handiwork of mischievous element bent on confusing IPOB. It is unfortunate that some mischievous element twisted an unambiguous statement by IPOB where we clarify that in the meantime that our leader is in detention. The head of DOS, Mazi Aduziem, will be providing direction on the day to the activities of IPOB. We never said that Ed Dozem has become the acting leader of IPOB. For the avoidance of doubt, Mazi Unamde Kanu remains the leader of IPOB. The entire IPOB family all over the world is loyal to him. IPOB has no acting leader. 
Chikaledosium is the head of US, of Ipop, not the leader, not the leader. We therefore urge our family members, supporters, friends and members of the public to ignore the misleading and mischievous media reports. In the same vein, the indigenous people of Biafra Lipo have said Igbo politicians should be blamed for the insult by the presidency on the southeast. The pro Biafra group said the presidency would have taken the southeast seriously if Igbo politicians had not sabotaged its embattled leader, Unam De Kanu. Ima Powerful, the spokesman of IPOP, made his known while denying the group's involvement in the alleged killing of eight Nigerians and security operatives in Oweri, the Imo state capital. IPOP also berated the presidency over its comments on the incident which it said amounts to intimidation of Indigo. IPOP noted that President Muhammad Buhari led presidency should first hold northern leaders responsible for the attacks by bandits in Nigeria. The IPOP spokesman wondered why the presidency would be quick to react any time northerners are victims of insecurity in Nigeria. He challenged the presidency to show how many times it ordered northern leaders to fish out the perpetrators of the several senseless killings in the northern region, whose victims are mainly southerners, Christians and non-Muslims. IPOB maintained that the Fulani government and the Imo state government should be, should be held responsible for the ongoing genocide in the state. So my dear listener, now I've come to the end of our today's news, please do drop